trade. Every time uh, we have different amount of students or teachers, sometimes teachers only, sometimes really lots of students. So it's very interesting for me to know who am I talking to today? Today we are going to read the text. So make sure that you see the screen very well. Either you can just come closer. If you are somewhere in the classroom, you can come closer to read. So there are really lots of teachers uh, and uh, students also, and teachers with students. Uh, we have a student from Odessa. Nice, nice to meet you all. Okay. So let's have a little bit of warm up. I'd like to ask you uh, to find something. Have a look at this picture. Can you see the butterfly? Did you find the butterfly in this picture? What color is it? If you can see this butterfly, what color is it? Mm -hmm. I can see, yes, not everyone, yellow butterfly. That's right. It's a bit to the left of the screen. Here you can see. So this yellow butterfly is called mo uh, moth, imperial moth. Uh, it lives at the Yasuni National Park, Ecuador. And uh, it's hidden in the leaves because uh, for other animals not to see it. So it will, it can survive. Great. That's right. And now I have, uh, I have a question to you. In your, on your screens now you can see my question. Have you ever seen an unusual animal? Yes, I have or no, I haven't. Any unusual animal. Maybe it was a real, a, a, just a dog, but it looked unusual. Mm-hmm. So you, we can see that the results are changing every second now. But approximately, uh, we have equal numbers of people who have or haven't seen uh, an unusual animal. If you have voted, I will wait for some more minutes, for a minute. I, I think if you have voted, please write in the comment box what type of an unusual animal was it? Was it just a strange looking dog? Or maybe you saw an unusual bird? Write me some words for us to, to understand what type of animals have you seen. Svetoslav wrote to us that he saw a white crown, I guess. Wow, I think it's really unusual. I just can't imagine a spider. There was an unusual spider, really interesting. I will read all your comments a bit later. So, and now we see that we have a bit more uh, students and teachers who have seen unusual animals. Interesting. You have a turtle write to me, a fox. Oh, that's really interesting. It's a wild animal. It's very difficult to see a wild animal just maybe walking. Blue snail, unusual butterfly. It was a bird. Okay, so now I'm going to close uh, this poll. I will. I have some more questions to you. You will answer uh, them a bit later. And uh, for now, So let me read some of your comments. So it was a girl, goat, a goat with three horns. Hmm, that's really interesting. 
an unexpected the bird, an insect. I have a green bird. Mm, I think it's beautiful. Great. So now have a look at these animals. These are those strange animals which we are going to talk today about. Again, a koala in China, wow. I've never seen a koala live. Great, so in the comment, answer my question, which is the strangest animal? Just type one uh, letter, A, B, C, D, E, or F. Which animal looks really strange to you? C, yeah. F, mm -hmm. F again, one more F, C. Yeah, F is really strange. C, so we have like two um, leaders, C and F. Someone wrote D, yes. It has wings like a real big bird, but its head is too small for, for such big wings, I guess. Stick insect C, yeah, that is strange, I agree. All right, excellent. Now, uh, let me show you something. You can work with me. Uh, unfortunately, I won't see I will see your comments here. So here is a question to me, to you. Please read these sentences and choose the correct letter. For example, number one, it looks like a monkey. What letter is this? To your mind. Which animal looks like a monkey? A. Great. It looks like a leaf. Just a leaf from the tree. Like those moths that we saw in the picture. It looks like a leaf. To me, I would stick to C. Next one, uh, please uh, read it yourself. Number three, four, five, and six. I give you one minute to do that. And after that, I'm with you. You can read it aloud. Uh, or mm, silently. Anyway, try to match number three, four, five, and six with with the pictures. Uh, can you see the screen actually? Here is my question to you. I don't see the sentences, okay. Let me check. Here, can you see sentences now? Yes, great. So now you have one minute to read the sentences three, four, five, six, and match the animals with the pictures. Not yet. Hmm. Yes, some of you wrote to me, yes, yes, yes. Good.
some of you have already uh, done everything. Wonderful. So let's check. It looks like a ball. You wrote F. Great. It looks like a star. You wrote to me E. It looks like a butterfly. D. Oops. Let me do it again. It looks like a snake. I guess B. Let's check. Now we have everything done correctly. Great job. Next. Now, uh, try to match animals with the photo in A. Uh, so now these are the real names of the animals and we need to find them. The Southern Three-Banded Armadillo. Armadillo. The Southern Three-Banded Armadillo. I will help you and say that this is F. The snake necked turtle. Neck, what part of body is this? We have neck, yeah, here. So the snake neck turtle is B. The sun beetern, hmm, that's interesting. I even don't know. Maybe you know this animal, but as for me, I don't. Let's move on and check uh, what what will uh, what will be left. The leaf-tailed gecko. Gecko is a type of a lizard, I guess. So to me, it looks like C. Lini two-toed sloth. We have fingers on our arms and toes on our legs. Right, so two-toed sloth. I'd say it's A. And the green bottle blue tarantula. I saw your answer, here is E. So what we have left? The sun beaten is D. Let's check. Yeah, this is it. So now we know how these animals are called. And now let's meet the person Uh, okay, you wrote to me so many answers. Great. It's so wonderful to see so many active students today. That really inspires me and helps me to, to, to have this lesson. So work with me, be with me. And now we are go going to, to see something really unusual. Okay. Uh, these animals are endangered species. What it means endangered species? This is a type of animal that is close to disappearing from our planet. So these animals are in danger. We call them endangered species. You just can repeat after me. Endangered species. And Let's meet one man. Here's the photo of him. And here's the question to you. Very quickly look at the text and tell me what his name is and what his job is. Animals that can become extinct. That's right. These are endangered species. Sadly, we have type of uh, these uh, lots of animals. So, what's his name and what's his job? Oh, thanks, Victoria. Joe Sarter, photographer. Yeah, so 
the text just starts with this information. Right. Now, a bit more complicated task for you. Why does he want to photograph animals in zoos? Read all the text and find the reason. Why does he want to photograph animals in zoos? Okay, have you found environmental defender? Wonderful, thanks Svetlana. If you're ready, find in the text the words that um, underline uh, that uh, gives give the answer. This photo make people want to save this species, right? Great. So he wants to get our attention so that we see those small animals and he wants people to save the species. Don't to forget about this. He wants to draw our attention to the rare animals. Great. Wonderful. Thanks for your answers. Thanks for being active. And what he does? Uh, he uses the background, like I have white background behind me. He also, he uses black or white background. And those tiny little animals look very big. Now my question to you, would you like to see more of his photos and even a, a, a wonderful video? So here is a little bonus. Uh, I googled this man on the internet and I found he's a National Geographic uh, photographer and he has his own site, joelsarter.com. There you can find all information about his photo arc project and lots of the videos. I have one video for you. Please uh, tell me what are your feelings? What do you feel after such video? Because uh, as for me, I feel really touched and uh, like really emotional. So if you are the teacher, uh, maybe pay attention to this video and find this site and work with the, with your students. Yes, I am moved. 
right, Maria? The same feelings. Great. Yes. Can you imagine how much work he does just to help those little uh, animals uh, survive and live with us? Really uh, inspiring uh, material, really inspiring video and inspiring man. You can even find some videos where it shows how he, how he makes this video. So uh, uh, you can just use it uh, on your lessons and we move on. Now let's have a bit of studying. We have some entertainment, now let's study. I'd like all students to look at these words. We have a word, uh, we have uh, its uh, transcription. So here is a word like camouflage. We have transcription, camouflage. So for you to read correctly, explanations. Something that covers something or somebody so they look like part of the place where they are and can't be seen. Now, among these pictures, find uh, the picture that represents this word. My students have said these animals are disappearing. Yes, this is sadly, this is our world, but it's in our hands to help, uh, to protect the earth, to, to do what we can do just in order to help animals, help our nature. And uh, it's very important not to forget about this. And I'm sure that if we are all work together, if more people and more people know about these problems, they will help. And going back to the phrase, so for camouflage, I'd say it's number two, right? Just because you can see here a little type of an animal, probably panda, or cheetah who hides in the grass and it has the same color, so it's camouflage. Next, predator. Predator, an animal that kills and eats other animals. What number is it? You wrote to me that this is number four. Wonderful. Prey. We have predators, those who can kill other animals, and we have preys, animal that other animal kid to eat. For example, this is number Pray. This is number three. Thanks, Maria. So for we have here a predator and a prey. Yeah. Next, poison. Poison. Sorry, poison. Something that makes somebody ill or can kill if you eat. It can be poison mushroom. It can be poison fish. Can be poison drink maybe. This is number five, right? Claw. Do I have claws? No, I don't. Yeah, I have nails, but animals have claws. And claw, this is a sharp nail on animals' foot because they don't have arms, right? They have just um, claws, yeah? It's very important to read this word correctly, claw. This is number six, wing. Great, I see all answers are here. Thanks, very, very well. Wing, a part of the side of a bird's body that makes it fly, yeah? This is number seven, wing. Great. And the color, very beautiful color, one of my favorite colors, by the way, this is turquoise. It's kind of a blue and green color, turquoise. Turquoise. Great. Okay. Thanks. Lots of activity today, and that's wonderful. That tells me, oops, sorry. How do I need? Yeah, I can now make it. So here again, you can check. 
the answers well done excellent so let's move on now finally let's read about those unusual animals but it's not just for us to read about the animals. We need to read and to understand what exact animals it is about. Let's look at text number one. You have some words that help you. For example, let's read it first. This is a reptile that is very good at hiding. Its home is in Madagascar and it is not easy to see with its amazing camouflage. When it is in danger from a predator, it can lose its tail to trick the predator and, helps it, and help it get away. I have different type of answers and here we can see some key words that this is a reptile, that it's got amazing camouflage and it can lose its tail. And this is C, the leaf-tailed gecko. Yeah, here it is. Great job, wonderful. Uh, next, let's read text number two. You did it very, very fast. In this case, let's, you do it first, and after that, I can help you. So you need to read and to find this animal. Very quick answers. I'm interested if those are students or teachers who make these fast answers. Now I can see some students, some teachers, some students. Okay, great. So let's look at the keywords. It's, it moves very slowly. Its toes help it. Do you remember the name of this animal uh, that has the word toes in its name? To be, mm -hmm. okay, we have different uh, opinion, it's interesting. Now we know that it's a mammal. Do you know what mammal means? These are the animals that drink mother's milk, like cats, like dogs, like um, tigers. When they are babies, they drink milk, mommy's milk. These are mammals. If to look at picture A or B, which animal looks like a mammal and which is a reptile? Of course, this is A. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, uh, we know now about this Linny's two-toed sloth that that is a mammal. It's very slow. Its toes help it hang upside down and it's nocturnal. What it means nocturnal animals? Any ideas? You have even explanation in the text. Nocturnal, so it comes out at night. Yes, so this animal sleeps in the day and doesn't sleep at night. Okay, next. Thanks, Svetoslav. Thanks, Svetlana, Victoria, for your answers. Great. Number three and number four. Let's do it one uh, all together. Thanks, Ludmila. Mm 
Mm -hmm. I see lots of answers. Wonderful. So let's look at text number three. This animal lives in the waterways of Australia. Its neck is as long as its shell and it helps to get food. So we have this keyword neck that helps us understand what type of animal it is. We know that it has a shell on its back, like the turtle, and it has webbed feet. Webbed feet, it's something like the dog has. So the feet that has little joints between the toes. It helps him to swim. So this is, and you are right, this is B. As for number four, we have again some keywords like bright blue legs, the talkers, um, mm -hmm. and we now know that this um, green bottle blue tarantula can be 15 centimeters long. It's quite a big tarantula. I would be afraid if I see it. And how does it kill uh, the uh, other animals? Mm -hmm. Thanks. Thank you for answering. How does it kill uh, other animals? It poisons, right? So it used poison, remember this um, bottle, yeah? It poisons other animals and so they kill their prey in this way. Well done. Next, one more. Uh, we have two more texts and two more animals. Let's find out some interesting details about those animals. Again, look at the some uh, keywords, maybe parts of the body, maybe colors, something that helps you understand what type of animal it is. Thank you. I'm wondering the teachers who work with students in your classrooms. Are you with us? Do you have enough time for reading? Mm -hmm. All right. Um, so if there are teachers with the students, let me know if you are with us, uh, if your students have enough time to read everything, if everything is fine here, because it's really uh, not so easy, right, to work with all the class if you are not in front of the screen one-to-one -one in front of the screen, I mean. Okay, so we have lots of the answers. Let's find some keywords. Scaly shell. Scale is something that fish have, right? On their body, they have, we have skin and they have scale, yeah, little parts of scale. And uh, also it can roll up into a ball right? It looks like a ball. Remember this beginning of the sentence, of the lesson. Mm -hmm. And uh, its legs, it walks 
on its back legs only. Can you imagine this funny animal uh, with only its front claws touching the ground? Yeah, so it looks really funny when it goes, I, I guess. And this is F, you were all right. And we have the last one, the sun bittern. We know that it has got red and black feathers. Feathers is what uh, birds have on their body. Uh, its open wings look like eyes. All right, you are. If you look at the wings of the, that animal, you will see that this is, uh, these are the eyes. Yeah. It helps the bird to look scary to its predators. So you see animals have something on them to scare predators. If, you, if they are the prey, they need to do something. They can use camouflage. They can use interesting colors just to, uh, um, just to uh, scary uh, those predators. Dinosaurs ha also have feathers. Really? I haven't heard about that. I'm not very good at dinosaurs, but that's a, it's an interesting fact. It wins look like a big butterfly, right? You remembered those sentence. Yes, you are right. And here we are, the sun beaten and the southern three banded on Delos. Three banded, it means that it can bend three times, right? Now, it's time to make, so great job everyone. You worked really hard. Now we know a bit more about those unusual animals, what they do, where they live, why they do some things. And now I have one more question to you. Now let's vote which animal did you like? Which animal would you like to see in real life? Which animal is a real, really interesting? I, I will wait for some minutes uh, for you to to make your choice and as far as I can see now, we don't have even a clear leader. All animals are wonderful, right? <laughs> Lini has now is a bit uh, of a leader, kind of a leader, but the snake and the sun bittern are with him. Okay, so. I'm counting to five and close this poll and you still have time to make another animal be the leader. So lean me to toad slow. Five, four, three, two, one. Yes, so now we have the most popular, the most interesting animal for us was Lini to toad sloth. Interesting. Uh, also, you like the snake necked turtle and the sun beaten. Mm -hmm. Um, dealer, yeah, and despite it works really funny, uh, is not such an interesting animal for us. Okay, thanks. Thank you very much. And now let's make one uh, more exercise and we will finish our lesson. So, how well you remember the words? Please look here and find uh, the correct animal. If we say reptile, find example of a reptile. Is it a snake? Is it a dolphin? Reptiles are snakes. 
sorry. Mammal, chicken or elephant? Elephant, herbivore, crocodile or horse? What do herbivore animals eat? Herbivore animals eat grass only. Carnivore, lion or giraffe? Right, Miroslava, great. Carnivore animals eat meat. So they are lions, amphibian, frog or tortoise. What's the difference? Mm -hmm. So we have different answers to tortoise or frog. Let's check. The frog is an amphibian. Now, what about dolphin? You don't need to write to me, just think in your head. What about dolphin? What type of animal it is? Dolphin is a mammal, right? Chicken. This is a bird. <laughs> okay. Uh, frogs breathe. Okay, we have Svetoslav, who is really good at animals, and he explains us uh, different interesting ideas. Okay, what about giraffe? Is it a herbivore or mammal? Oh, I guess it can be both and mammal and herbivore, right? Good, well done, guys. So we have some very interesting facts from Svetoslav. Let's read them. That Frogs, where are your comments? Breathe with their skin, so they are mammal. Mm, interesting, really interesting. Okay, and now uh, remember one, uh, remember your favorite animal and write what fact you remembered about this animal or from the lesson, write in the comments something that you remembered really well about those unusual animals. Memo. Mm -hmm. Thank you. It's about the giraffe, right? Okay. One, some one fact, one sentence that you remembered from this text about the animals. Moves very slowly. Great. Has legs like dog. How do we call these legs? Do you remember? They are slippers. Mm -hmm. Some bitten scare the predator with its wings. Great. So, C has lose, can lose its tail, right? You are. It's really interesting. Such a beautiful tail, and it can lose it. <laughs> okay. One more fact from you. Bright blue legs. Yes, we have. There is a spider that has bright blue legs. Oh, it may be turquoise. Yeah, and it is called green bottle blue spider. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. Works at night, probably. Yeah, or walks at night. Yeah, poison the prey, it can poison, look like a ball, the most dazzling of all the world's birds. Great, thanks Maria for sharing. So 
Dear students, dear teachers, thank you very much for being with us today. I hope that after this lesson, you will know some really interesting facts about unusual animals have three toes. Mm -hmm. And uh, now you can surprise your friends, surprise maybe your parents with these amazing facts. This lesson was taken from <clears throat> Close Up, second edition book, level A1+. Plus. Here you can see level A2. This is a book that uh, has permission from Ministry of Education to be used at school. The great book with wonderful facts, with lots of ideas for us to study, to learn, not just English, but facts about the world. Uh, lots of interesting questions, stunning photographs and videos. Uh, we have also a special edition for Ukraine uh, about Ukrainian culture. And there is a workbook and a teacher's book. All the information like audios, videos, additional word lists, additional tests are online. So there are no CDs, no DVDs, everything is online. It's very in interesting and useful and easy to use. <clears throat> also, if you write like reading, if you like those funny, interesting texts, thank you. <laughs> thank you guys uh, for actually for sharing this lesson with me. Every time we organize the lessons, we are a bit of worried if it is interesting, if uh, students come to our lesson and we are very happy to, to, to talk to you. So really, thank you <laughs> really a lot for being with us. And coming back to those reading series, if you are interested in facts about the world, about the animals, about places or maybe people, pay attention to these types of books, Footprint Reading Library. You can find uh, them in the um, on the site linguist.ua. There. Um, and you can order them from the manager, from linguist company. And these are great books uh, to tell the real life stories, to share wonderful photos. And they have lots of exercises with, during reading for you to stop, to think, to, to understand, to analyze something. So as for me, every time I have this book in my hand, I can't stop uh, until I finish it till the end. So these books really inspire us and our students to read. And this is uh, me <laughs> and my contact details. If you have any questions about the series, about the lessons, please uh, do not hesitate, uh, contact me. Also, uh, subscribe to our Facebook page. We usually share something interesting, useful information. Don't forget to visit our site, linguist.ua or, or, or at linguistangel.com.ua to find the uh, different articles, uh, videos of other lessons that were before. Uh, announcement and of course um, to search for books that you are interested in. I saw the question about when we meet next time. So next time it's going to be a webinar for teachers only. It's going to be on the on Wednesday 27th of February 26th Wednesday and our next demo lesson will be in March and this will be the demo lesson uh, for a bit older students, uh, we'll uh, talk a bit more about exam preparation because it's right the time to to prepare, to, to remember everything and to be ready for uh, exams. Thank you very much. Uh, that was a pleasure to work with you today. When you and uh, finish, when we finish this webinar, you will get email uh, with the link to the certificate. So for online lessons, you don't need to complete any survey forms. You will just get your certificate. You need to type your name in it. And of course, uh, print it out if you would like to and share, uh, show to others. What else? If you don't have an email, check your junk mail spam. 
uh, boxes and of course take care really uh, I hope you can even visit our site by the way linguistangel.com UA find this close up second edition books go uh, to sample page and download this lesson to have it with your students. Now you get the idea how to do it. Now you have extra size with those that photographer. So now you can just have this lesson. Also the video, the recording of this lesson is available in your emails after the webinar and we will post it on YouTube channel, a linguist YouTube channel. So you can see it anytime you want to. Again, thank you very much. See you very soon. Uh, and uh, uh, don't forget that there are some animals that we need to protect. We need not to forget to and be kind to them. So again, thank you. Yes, Luca, this is over. Uh, the lesson has finished. Great job. Uh, you were one of the most active students, actually. Thank everyone for participation. And see you soon.